Hey. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all different ages. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Another episode of the No Free Game Podcast. I am your humble, 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 gracious host, King Solomon. And I guess it's the new, per usual, to my left. Uh. I, man, I, I don't even. You know what? He I might be the one. No he, you know, he might be the star of the show. Nah, don't do that. He yeah, might be the. Don't do that. I don't even know no woman. Throw the oop up. The, ladies and gentlemen, the, the man, the myth, the legend, Shaw Boogie. Let's get some other class going for my boy Shaw Boogie. Love y'all. Love y'all. Okay. Love y'all. Shaw Butler. Mm. Shaw Butler. Shimmy B. Uh-huh. Hey, let's not get wild with the name. The, um, <laughs> the, the Eric Brene going to the bench. <laughs> Me. And to my right, the typical crazy man, <laughs> per usual, the big juice show. Like Let's get some claps going. Let's get some claps going. Oh Let's get some claps going. Um, today is a very, very, very special day. Honestly, any day with my with my brother is a very special day. But today, of all days, is even more special. So if you don't mind, sir, can you pass me the Moet bottle? Yes, sir. Uh, I would like to do a quick congratulations to us gentlemen for yes, finally sir. hitting yes, at sir. least 500 yes, followers uh-huh. on YouTube. So you know cheers, 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 oh, cheers it up, cheers it up, cheers it up. And let's get some more claps yes, going. Let's get some more no, 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 fucking no, 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 claps no, no, going. Let's do it. No, no, you need glass to me. No, 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 no. We not going to fucking... Don't throw it. Please don't throw the glass. Don't need no glass. Come on, man. Now he want to... You know, I just want to let people know... I I just want to let people know we've been here for an hour (laughs) pre-production. Doing a whole bunch of shit. And this nigga now realize he don't got a glass. glass, So let me pull my brother up. I didn't know what was going on. Let me pull my brother up real quick. And I'm gonna pull myself up real quick. And listen, man, for some of y'all, 500 may not be a lot. For others, 500 may be too much. I don't know. It's a real grind. Hey, man. You know what I mean? Hey, man. Cheers to you guys. We've had a hell of a time. And honestly, hey, for you watching. This the road to 5,000, though. For you watching, for you listening. This the road. Ooh. For you watching, for you listening, yeah. cheers to you. Thank you for Thank being you for watching. watching. Thank you for listening. Thank Sharon. you for supporting. Cheers. Let's Love get some love. one we more time, man. Let's get some claps and cheers. I, I, I just got something. James costs a lot. Dime is even more. But it's no free game. Yeah. No, no free, free game. game. I like that. Salute, gang. Mm. Mm. Oh my God. Oh, oh that, that was good. Like that was good. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, we, we, we tapped in. Yo, man. So we have a lot to talk about this week. Um, yeah, although we started things off on a, on a great note, mm-hmm. got to get a little bit somber. Ah, uh, I guess it depends who you are. But we'll get a little bit somber. Uh, this past week, O.J. Simpson passed away. Damn. Juice. Uh, the juice officially got let loose. <laughs> um, for those of you who do not know, he was one of the all-time great running backs in the NFL. Top five. And college. Don't play. And, uh, and probably and top three, three to five college. in college. Absolutely. Juice. And he got so, some legal trouble. <laughs> um, Allegedly. But nah, all, all, all jokes aside. Parking tickets. Allegedly. He, all jokes aside, he definitely uh, was put to trial for a double murder that he was acquitted of. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Listen, it is what it is, but I, I just want to take this moment, A, just to, a moment of silence. Somebody did pass away. Um, but also, just to get y'all quick thoughts on OJ, his legacy, and like... If he had any impact on you, because I mean, personally, right? When it came to understanding police and black folk, OJ in my life was like the example. In the sense of people say, oh, well, we have to watch out because of, excuse me, two people, A, Rodney King and what happened to him, and watch out to what they did to OJ. Because a lot of people at this time, early 90s, mid 90s, were of the belief that OJ was innocent and was being framed by the police. And honestly, if you watch the trial, there was a lot of framing involved. There, there were some things that the police did that was obviously extremely legal and definitely helped him get off. So with all that said, I just want to give it to y'all. If y'all have any comments, thoughts, and just if OJ had any impact on you and your life at all. I'm a big football dude. So first and foremost, rest in peace. Somebody somebody's went home. You know what I mean? So rest in peace to the juice. But... um. To be honest, not really. It was all just jokes and shit. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't have much 
invested in OJ. Right. He wasn't like a hero of mine, anything. That'd like be that. a nasty hero, no offense. You know what I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> he was I anybody born yeah. after in the mid 90s. But you gotta think later. about it. Ooh. Somebody who was growing up that wanted to be a running back. You know what I'm saying? Or play football. That probably was their man. In the 70s. You know if, you, if you if was, was born in the 70s, you know maybe I mean? even early 80s. But to me, I, by the time I was born and I understood, it was all jokes to me. Like. I think he three... I forgot when OJ was born, but he's either three years younger or older. I want to say younger. Your OJ was 76. Nah, I don't think he's that old. I don't know. I don't know. I actually have no idea. I, I, I don't really care. But I'm sure he's in the 70s. He's definitely in the 70s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 70s and 70s. Uh, apologies, Shock to you. I'm just saying, he was, um, I just know he was revered as one of the greatest running backs of all time in the NFL, as well as college. Um, you don't get a nickname for no reason. You know what I mean? Everybody know him. And as far as the trial goes, like, it's, it's hard to say. He wasn't there, and it did look like a lot of funny work. You know what I'm saying? As far as the trial went. I think I watched the documentary they put out or something like that. There's, there's, the been, a, there's been a, a bunch, bunch of them. I watched one of them. On um, Netflix. I'm, I'm watching that Netflix now for the second time. So it's in like 48 hours. <laughs> so it's like I don't really know. Like I don't I don't really know what to think of it, like to be honest. Like, but it it's it's not funny. You know what I'm saying? It's not a joke, anybody murdering people. But like by the time I got wind of everything and was an adult and mature, it was a joke to me. Like it was he didn't do it or he did it, or you know what I mean, or we don't know if he did it or they couldn't prove it. So it was like I don't know. Like it just it wasn't nothing I really had to take too serious. You right. get what I'm saying? Like so, but this was an instance, like you said, where police was framing people. They were um prejudiced, discriminatory towards black people. So what I do understand is some of the people felt like this was a win this time. Right. One time we, this is the win we got. Right. Some you of the people. what I'm saying? Some of our people, you know, this was and that's why they didn't. Are these, are these some people are, are they black folk? Of yeah. course I'm talking okay, about no, black I, I, people. Yeah, of course I'm talking about I black folks. Nah, yeah, you think it was white people rooting for him to win, beat that case after he done? Only the ones he had sexual with. Man, <laughs> man, woman are indifferent. <laughs> you mean the Kardashian's mother? It, or oh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. allegedly. Yeah, a lot of, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of allegations. But, but, but Jew, anything for you? Juice me anything to you? I'm heartbroken. Really? And it got, it, got not, it got nothing to do with it. See, it, look. All right, America, if y'all ain't know. We black, right? So niggas, <laughs> niggas die every day, B. It ain't about I, murder's crazy. But honestly, um, OJ told me. I'll be honest. OJ is as American as American apple pie and George Washington. <laughs> niggas don't do what he did and beat it. Watch the documentary. They say this shit. White folks say this shit on documentary. I'm not saying this shit. So what I'm saying is, yo, bro, that glove don't fit. Shit is crazy. Word. To this day, you though. got a rapping ass. You might as well have Young Thug. Young Thug, <laughs> my nigga, if Young Thugs beat this shit, he the new OJ. You might as well have him on trial. That's how crazy. I'm watching this shit. I watched it twice. Then they had Cuba Gooden doing the fucking nut ass shit. My nigga, the nigga had Hertz commercials. This is like the nigga that do the Tony the Tiger voice <laughs> being a serial killer. Yeah, y'all don't understand what OJ was mm -hmm. in that consent. Like that, like what? The records, like, like. Bro, and he beat that, but then also on the flip side, he went to jail for some nut shit for some a really long time. Shit. So, so I'm just looking at it like I'm heartbroken because it's like, in a sense of just like American history, it's not necessarily whatever he's uh, did or didn't do. I ain't free him. I didn't lock him up. That ain't my business. Yeah. You feel me? But outside of that, it's like damn, he the juice. He I the feel juice. that. I feel that. You so feel me? Like it's the juice. Y'all niggas like. You the fuck? Niggas love Abe Lincoln. I think he had slaves. Niggas love, niggas <laughs> love Elvis, too. They love Elvis, nigga. too. Elvis? Yeah. What the yeah, fuck I are we doing? Let's not say too I many names say, before we I end up say. getting it's flagged. It's a little racism Com and everything. Com Com Look at zone. Compare Abe Lincoln to <laughs> so OJ. OJ is crazy. No, <laughs> it is kind of crazy. <laughs> he the juice. The nigga said, I'm not black. I'm OJ. <laughs> I'm OJ. <laughs> ain't never going to hear yeah, that again. Man. See, and that's why some of us had a problem taking up for him, too. Like, yeah. Oh, you ain't black, you OJ. Uh, I don't know if the time if people did, though. I, I would say there was probably a small number of black no, folks that did No, but you definitely lost some. But I mean, now. I mean, now, I think... But, but because but, I think in real time, it's it's almost hard to remember everything, right? So yeah. in real time, when all emotions are happening and like you, you're you're seeing what's going on, Rodney King just happened not not too long ago. It's yeah. almost like you kind of don't even you kind of tune out anything you don't want to hear. But I, what but, I do want to I want to like, we're gonna continue, but I don't want to. I just want to catapult this part, like the, the the fact that we even know, like just think about the quick wormhole. The fact that we even know the Kardashians. Is due to the fact that he hired 
Rob. Uh, Rob. Rob yeah. That was a lawyer that didn't even do that type shit. Didn't die. Why we know Chris? Then why Chris' daughter look like OJ? Uh, <laughs> well, why yeah, yeah. That's my Now we about to ask some shit. Like, this shit about to get you up. I don't, look, I don't want no Kardashian problems. I don't want I any Kardashian right problems, no, but, man. So, real quick, I, don't, <laughs> I really don't want to talk about OJ too long, but I, I, just two things I want to say. And I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to get yelled at in the comments. I, I don't care. Let's let's be real. OJ did that shit. I don't the, know. The yeah, nigga, listen, and I'm, listen, and that's this, crazy. This is what I'm going to say. This one, if, if that same shit happened today, nobody out here say OJ didn't do it. That shit the sound, cops fucked it that up. That shit sound like some typical NFL CTE shit. My nigga, I'm sorry. He I has seen, CTE, how many, right? How many Thank videos you. have we just seen in the past 10 years of football players doing some CTE shit? My nigga. This sounds like some CTE watch shit. Watch the doc. Look how I big his head is. CTE to know what I've seen CTE. Aaron That's Hernandez. They oh, drop the ball. I've seen, so enough, I've seen enough CTE to know when I see some CTE. For me, it was come the, on, if I did do it. Yeah, like, come on. Like, we, like, Nigga, you draw snitching on yourself. Trial. saying this shit. But well, that's like Aaron Hernandez is like, well, the Glock wasn't on safety. Uh, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I just want like, to say that. And, and also, look, two things can be true. The man is one of the best football players ever at, yeah. the, at his position. And he can also be remembered for that, too. Yeah, and I true. think I think we live that's in a like time. R. Kelly. I think we live in a time where we ha- we choose to be one sided on everything. The man, the man was CTE and murdered people. And if you don't like him, that's fair. But you can also accept the fact that the man was fucking brilliant at football. Can I say both? This? Two things are true. I don't think I don't think it's fair. Why? Because you, you cocksuckers couldn't get 20 yards on that goddamn field. <laughs> this nigga got 20 billion. Fuck that. The it's NFL needs to pay uh, for niggas that do crazy shit for, for CTE. No, the nigga CTE. No more CTE. No oh, more CTE. CTE. Why? I'm not about to advocate for more CTE. You got to pray. Like, less like, CTE. You can't praise the good without acknowledging the bad. Especially at the time he played. Think about it. Jim Brown and shit. My nigga, they... They passed was as big as this goddamn help. What the fuck is that? Uh, like, but not for nothing. If you did, yo, you did dirty, like R. Kelly. Like, I love his music, but you a dirty nigga, and I'm going to call yeah, him that yeah. to the end of time. But R. Ke- R. Kelly can I be a nasty I love your music, but you a dirty R. motherfucker. R. Kelly can like, be a nasty motherfucker, but I can still well, see, step in your love. I Both don't, things can be they, true. Like, I don't <laughs> pray to these niggas. Like, I don't, I don't pray to them. Me? Like, you feel what I'm saying? I don't, y'all, like, you're not my idols. I don't look for how I'm going to be every day. From like, you. what is R. Kelly doing? Do I want to be with R. Kelly while? Right, no, right, nigga, right. but like the chocolate factory is crazy. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? It's Fuck crazy. Who can't bump the no, chocolate factory saying, for? Like, who would? Like, who would? It's crazy. Duality. It's, I, but I'm, I'm, I'm a realist. I understand that I like the music. I don't like the person. And, I'm and we get caught up too much Ooh, in the celebrity lifestyle. Like they, we get so caught up into what the celebrities do for us that we forget that there's an actual person existing behind what we're getting from these people. Word. You so know what I mean? Set, and I'm able to separate art that from the shit. artist. It's, yeah, it's, it's absolutely. That. Well, absolutely. I'm happy you brought up music. Absolutely. I'm happy you brought up music. Okay. Because it, it's been World War Three out here this past weekend. Shit. Okay. It, it, actually, it's not a World War Three. It's motherfucking, uh, uh, what's the shit with Uma Thurman? In the soul Kill Bill. Kill Bill. Kill Bill. Volume one of volume two. One, one, two, and maybe two, a little bit of three in that bitch. It's only two. It's oh, you got, oh, you, oh, you, oh, you got quitting numbers. It's Drizzy versus everybody. Mm-hmm. If you do not know, uh, a lot of people, there's been a lot of music beef going on, a lot of disc records, a lot of conversation. Is Drizzy Bill or but Hold on, we, we'll, we'll get there. But just, <laughs> I just, like that. Just to paint the I picture. Like that. So... Last time we spoke, we mentioned the Kendrick diss. Thanos right now. Bro. Drake is Thanos, bro. La- last time we came, we mentioned the, the uh, Drake. I'm sorry, the Kendrick diss. From then, a leaked quote unquote Drake diss, which turned out to be true, mm-hmm. came out, and he took shots at everybody back. He took shots at Future, Metro Boomin, Weekend. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. And in between our last conversation. Uh, Future and Metro Boomin dropped another oh, project. Yeah. And in that other project, The Weeknd had some words for Drake, yep. as well as ASAP Rocky. Oh. So long story short, a Wait, lot of weekend. rappers... Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, uh, I don't know if you heard it, but well, so a lot of rappers and artists what? have taken shots at Drizzy. So I, I wanted to pass it off to y'all, and I have two questions. My first question is, why is everybody ganging up on Drizzy? Mm-hmm. And then my second question is, what did you guys think of the disses? The Drake this, the Ross this, and where do you think we go from here? Because like this is this is to me a very weird time because I've never seen like the the closest I can compare this to is when everybody was going after Jay. 
Mm-hmm. When Jay was at the top and he was going after Nas, he was going against Mob Deep. He was going against like he was he was going against everybody, or even Fifty, I guess. That's mm-hmm. the other time period I could think of when Fifty was Probably taking on 50, yeah. everybody and anybody, right? So I, I I this and it's weird because Drake is the least gangster person you could possibly think of, right? Like we know Jay for his street activity, we know Fifty for his street activity, we know Drake because he makes good music and he was on Degrassi. So like this this is the least hood nigga you can possibly think it of. It ain't even that about being everybody's hood. hanging up on this. It so ain't even so about what, being what do you hood. think? Yo, like y'all niggas created this monster. Yeah, that's y'all true. created this. Y'all made him like like listen. I don't want like. Like I said, I could separate the person from the art. You feel what I'm saying? And what it looked like before was he was a mellow dude. Like, I don't want to say corny. You feel what I'm saying? Because everybody cool to somebody. Every The he, things like, that he, they do, like, you know what I'm corny, saying? So corny every, characteristics. He was just a little, he was a little different. He wasn't this boastful. He wasn't right. this, you know what I'm saying? Walking like he was the biggest dog on the park. You feel what I'm saying? But y'all created this monster. Now you got to deal with it. Like, I feel like, I don't really like the fact that everybody's ganging up on them right now. I think that shit's so fucking I think whack. it's I think I think it's because like now it's it like this the thing. It was first it was cool to be it, 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 at first it was a good thing to be cool with Drake. You feel what I'm saying? When it when it first happened, everybody wanted to be his friend when he was the hottest artist out, when he was the dude that could do any and everything. Everybody wanted to be his friend. Everybody was making money with him. All of this stuff. Now we coming out years later down the line and y'all all got a problem with him. And ain't nobody had nothing to say until Kendrick, uh, until Metro and Future's album, and Kendrick, like he always does, called out the game. And and that's and I agree with you so much, and that's why everything to me is so fucking corny. So is it because he's distracted with a bigger problem? You get what I'm saying? Niggas is like, yo, nigga, I like how you niggas articulate. Can't, that. Niggas can't really deal with him on his own. You feel what I'm saying? Nah, I don't it, think. But now that you got Kendrick, who's probably Justice one of Lee. the few people that can like go toe to toe with Drake. Now everybody just want to come up. Yeah, Kendrick, get that nigga. Like, nah, bro. I don't. I don't feel that. So this is. I feel like Kendrick always been a sleeping giant. Right. Of course, he's in his element, right? Of course. Everybody else. So I feel like this niggas probably felt the way because if you really look at it, he drizzy drizzy, but he, I, I compare him to um, LeBron, Hove, Drizzy, that same type cloth like. They the new era nigga of whatever genre of entertainment they did. So meaning what I'm saying is they understand what it is. It's still a business. Competition is involved, but also excitement is the factor that's putting you over the edge. Niggas got to understand all of that. Everything is a correlation. So Drizzy, he know it's more money in fucking with niggas and collabing than it is with beefing. Mm -hmm. Kendrick, like, I really care about the art, but I got to be exciting. And everybody else like, I got to eat. Not to cut you off, but we spoke about this the last time. Yes. And I said, Kendrick is one of those few dudes that could do what he wants. He actually do, does what he he's wants to talented. do. talented. Most of these niggas needed Drake. Most, Most of, of them, them needed Drake. No, 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 no. They really needed Drake. They really that, needed because him. Because that's the part that really pisses me off. Y'all needed him. Ross, you got your number one because of Drake. Future, you got your number one cousin nah, Drake. That's, a, that's no, different though. No, that's, the future no, shit is a little different. No, 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 wait, wait, no. I'm gonna be clear. I'm gonna be clear. Ah, thank you. Because future, Ross, right? not really. Like I said, back future? to my previous statement, you, y'all created this monster. There was yes. a point in time future was five for five on mixtapes. Future's mixtapes was moving like albums. It was some of the hottest music in the game. Agreed. And everybody the, the, in the, the streets two was rocking that's, with it. The two the niggas hood, that's offended is future and Ross. Wait, hold up. The hood was rocking with it. The women was rocking with it. Everything Future was doing. Right. It was in the clubs. It was in the cars. It was on the block. It was everywhere, right? Right. Future probably was the one person years before that could have dethroned Drake or at least took him out for a few years to not say he was on top. You and, know what he did? And could not. No, because you know what he no, did? He, he could. Collabed you know what, he no, collabed he with a whole fucking album with and, him. and got his first number one. No, no. Got, here's, here's listen, the thing that listen, people... Go, go, go. But, but what... What you could have did was like, nah, Drake, you could feature on a few of these joints with me. You could, you know what I mean? We could do a couple tracks together. I'll even throw you a beat from Metro and do it on your album. Instead, you made a whole album with this nigga. So now the whole time, Future, we not not giving you just the love. Drake a part of this shit now. And you know, whatever Drake going to be doing is going to be even bigger. It goes number one. so, So what you traded out, you traded out that opportunity to overtake him, though. 
This is my point. Like, you was no, one of the not. hottest Agreed. artists in the game. Agreed. And you gave him a no, but, platform but, but to stay on top. Now I'm about to piggyback off that, because y'all right. Because here's the thing. What Drake did, is th that's what niggas felt to realize. What Drake did, is that LeBron cloth. He's smart. You chasing man. ghosts. The shit Steph did, niggas never seen. That's future. We never seen the fuck he did. It ain't your fault. Here's the thing. Who Steph became Steph off of? Bron. That's why niggas like, Bron a goat. You, in my eyes, Steph the goat. Y'all got the same rings, and you got that off of kicking that nigga ass. Everybody say the goat. No. It's I, hard for me to argue. I, I, I always disagree Here's with the you. Thing. I feel you. I feel there. you. Steph got three rings off of who? Point proven. <laughs> Point proven. Ah, but this Drake, Cause, like, cause, we contributed to this Drake monster. Yeah, now, exactly. But like, no, but you, but uh, you can't uh, compare the bronze, the bronze stuff situation to Drake and Future because at the end, because at the end of the day, if anything, Future was the KD in the situation. No, because just like Sean no, said, no, 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 just numbers, like Sha numbers, said, numbers. But prior to the Drake collab. Future was buzzing in the streets. Y'all don't feel Future the was buzzing in the, But what, he was not touching We black culture, nigga. We he don't own too much of nothing but a goddamn coffee was cup. Not the streets move no. on the billboards. He no, 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 it don't matter. But who runs? No, it's no. irrelevant. That's that's irrelevant. No. The billboard. No, 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 no. The billboard. The is best of both worlds. Nah, listen. At that's that like time, winning a chip. no. Getting a one is no. like winning a chip. Am Drake, I wrong? Here's the thing. People uh, gotta realize. I don't know. Drake Not a needs the streets. Before I take a number one, I want a classic album. That's gonna Drake don't mean got no more, classic like, albums, bro. But classic more. is so subjective. No, like there's a no, lot of no, albums. No, there, no. There's a lot of albums. Don't get me wrong. Uh, I, I think are not I truly. Classic, I think there are. Subjective. I think there are. Because as much as you hate, much. as much as you hate Fifty Cent or don't like Fifty Cent, you're rich about trying to classic. So, so wait, I I think there are very 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 few true classics. Ooh, you, you mentioned Get Rich or Die Trying. I think that's a classic. I, I don't think there is much discussion. Top 10 what, uh, hip hop all time. Uh, there, there, there are certain albums, right? For example, some people say, Illmatic. Like, some people say Take Care is Drake's classic. I don't necessarily agree. The, now, Illmatic, I don't think nobody will disagree is a classic. I've, I've never album. heard that's anybody. Top, Look, you'll say that's a classic called, Drake album, but as far as classic thank, hip hop, thank you, thank as far as a classic rap no, 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 album, no, forget, forget get the category. Get Richard Trying is spoken for. Forget the category. As, as no, you said it. No, but I'm saying as far as classics go, a classic that is a classic. Album I'm, is spoken right, for. Right, and, and I agree. I think Get Richard Trying is a classic. I don't yeah. care what genre. I think it's no, a it's classic. A true classic. You, you say so classic that's when I 50 say true album. classic. I don't say classic 50 album. I you say classic Drake. I say classic album. Is that because he's I mulatto? Think... <laughs> now you're no, racist. But no, no, the reason, I think the reason you say a classic Drake album, right, is because Drake has always had us in a conundrum. Like, yo, is he a rapper? Ooh. Is he a pop star? Does he yes. do R&B? No, and so I, when you say classic, because like, I got- I disagree. I don't think I, that's the problem. I think his best albums are when he's more geared towards the R&B. I think I- but he I, does have albums where he's rapping a little more. I think the problem with Drake, it's not even a problem, because I don't think it's necessarily a problem. I think when it comes to Drake albums, he is, his singles are so absolutely out of this world yeah. that his albums never meet, never meet that Same. single. Yeah. And that's the problem. Because it'll be half the album full of singles. When are we going to start and talking that's, about that's Drake problem. not an album artist? And that's fine. Wait, which, listen, is, listen. which is okay. Listen, all right. Which is okay. To get back to your second question. Though. He made a wedding song. Look, look, get back. <laughs> I got my eyes. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty good song. That's a pretty good song. <laughs> but like, the disses, as far as the disses go, first of all, let's be clear. Kendrick did not make a diss track. I Again, mean, right, let's not he, do but, this. But Again, gave, the but same thing. Six, well, wait, no, he well, just, well, he just caused nah, an earthquake on the exactly. East Coast. Yeah, oh, but, look but how one means, verse could shake up the world. What'd he say? This is the second time he's done it. Because Control also wasn't a diss track. These are yeah, verses. but to wait, be wait, fair, nah, this, is the first time Drake, fair. To, this is the first time Drake's ever gave. No. And I don't think the whole record that's was for Kendrick. He never gave a whole record for Kendrick, ever. No, 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 That's but that's Cap, though. He he's responded. He's, yes, he's yeah, been throwing shallow punches throughout the years. I don't even know if he's writing bars, because Ross talking years. that shit. Because first of all, if we're talking nah, rap, listen. who a better rapper? Nah. Ross a better rapper, no, Kendrick a better rapper. Ross a better rapper than who? Than Drake. No, he's not. You bugging. I don't think I agree with that either. No, he's not. Rapper? First off, first off, first off, keep it a bit. 
My nigga. Ross is all flow. My nigga. His punchlines be mad. Drake don't say nothing I relate to. He make me okay, want to get horny and go no, to the club. Right, wait, I'm not 17 trying to get a prom haircut no more. My nigga, you 30. Oh, Rex. Yeah, what are you rapping about? <laughs> Ross talking that shit. No, when you niggas no, going to no, wake no, up, no, nigga? No, 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 put your Jimmy no. Dean fucking <laughs> shit in the microwave. Yeah. Read the newspaper. <laughs> what wait, you fucking with? Wait, hold up. But listen, like, I got a feeling, nigga. Kendrick shit wasn't a diss track. We've not heard a diss track from Kendrick. We's talking about a verse I don't know if that put in everybody in an uproar, huh? I don't know if he got it in him. If he got it in him. I don't know if he wh- did. Wh- Wait, why do I have to Kendrick? drop a whole diss track when this one verse just put the whole game in an uproar? Nah, but that's The whole nah, game just... He just put the whole... Gonna, this is the second that, time no, he's no, done but it. but that's going to wear thin eventually. No, no, like, it's not. If he does it again, okay. it's not the same. So, Peep, so Peep, though, what you went and did, Drake, was make a whole diss song. And everybody like, yo... First of all, they glazed in the Drake diss track. It's a good diss. He acknowledged what was going on. It wasn't nothing crazy. I'm gonna he be very honest. He did this shit with Meek. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, the shit with Meek was better. He did. No, the shit with Meek was better. No, not no, back, no, no, not back to back. The slow shit. The the the. the but that was both. He was 20, talking was to him. Though. The slow shit. The other shit. Uh, not the back. First one. He was the talking first one, to him on one. that shit. I also think though. I also think I will say it, it could be more of shock factor too. Because, exactly. Because Drake actually the, said something. Yes. And, that that, and, and that's time. why I'm like, yo, this is not... It's, I know Drake's better than this. You get what I'm saying? So what y'all oh, trying to make pack. it seem... It light pack. Light what y'all pack. trying to make it seem like what Drake just did in that this? Nah, he's way better than that. Yeah, I know yeah, he's yeah. better than no, that. No, light pack. And the light same pack. thing... I feel the same thing about Rick Ross. Only thing with Rick Ross, I don't understand why you even involved in this I, this much. Thank you. I don't, I'm confused about that. I, I don't know why you dissing now, this nigga. America, and that I shit was a little mid. And it was a little mid. Very I'm gonna be honest. So, I'm okay. taking hold Kendrick's on, on, verse. Hold on, hold on. I'm taking Kendrick's verse four times hold before on, I want to hear that Rick go, Ross go ahead, shit. Go ahead, go ahead. I don't know what that was. But but that's the thing, because Kendrick, like you said. He is this a whole nother level, right? But my thing is, have y'all niggas not seen the TDE cipher though? That's not the shouldn't be none to go talk ahead, about. Go ahead, go ahead, that, go ahead. That's a song worth of bars, bro. But that's what I'm saying. It's not the same, so, 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 it's not the same thing. Niggas afraid of him. He freestyled about this man for about three minutes I straight want, on national I, TV. I, I want to diss track. <laughs> he's did it on national no, TV. He gave no, you one. No, no. He gave me four that, bars again. That, that, he gave you what? Four, eight bars, No, baby. on BET, the yeah, cyber, he, he gave you three minutes straight. What about the You don't even know shit. That's the thing. Here the thing. Here the thing. Three minutes straight, smashing him on national TV I'm getting a cypher. Drake. I tuck the sensitive rapper back in his pajama clothes. Ha ha. Jokes on you. High five. I'm bulletproof. Your shits are never and penetrated. And nobody never come Yo, back. Nobody. That's that nigga, what I'm bro. saying. Thank Kendrick you. been pushing this nigga around since 2014. Nigga. God damn it. Since he 2014. Not even, he not even a bully. He not since even that nigga for recent. What's that nigga named? Lavoni? 2014, bro. Like, even, bro. When you, I think it's a nothing to tell off, on a donkey boy. Niggas, you benefit. You niggas like the nigga with barrettes and fucking finger Yo. paint. Fuck this bullshit. So I, I used to my, laugh at my, you, cocksuckers, when, when, when I was at recess. My foot in the I'm, back of your ass. Aftermath gets the last slap. Yo, he was wilding on him for three minutes straight. What happened? Drake ain't saying a word about. But guess who he has work for immediately? Ross. No, 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 Meek. I promise you that Meek Mill this shit. He already had them shits in the chamber. Did he ask? As soon as he no. started fucking with Nicki Minaj, <laughs> I Puff, promise. Is this you. okay? So wait, well, so Jew, what are we gonna say about Ross? Nah, but this is what I'm saying. The thing is, I'm looking at this like you said, like a better rapper. Here's the thing: Drake can rap. A lot of niggas can rap. Nah, Drake can rap, rap. I'll put two on there. Here's the thing. I'll put two on it. He can rap, rap. The nigga's really nice. Rap, rap or what? Now, what are we talking about? Because when I listen to Ross, I feel that shit. When I listen to Drizzy, it's like I understand you. Ross, like, it's that's hip hop. Not that Drizzy not, but like, Ross got classic albums. The first one is why he's still Ross. That's what I'm saying. He been cool with Birdman, Wayne, and them niggas, but he needed that. Eras changed. People fell to realize, nigga, Absolutely. Ron's shooting threes now. Absolutely. We was like, he, he don't got a go to move. That's why I said Ross been around that long. So he probably looking at Drake like, yo, my nigga, like, you forgot we both need each other. A nigga like Kendrick, like, I don't need none of y'all. That's why I'm beefing with my own not, crew. Drake does not read Rick Ross. My nigga. In what sense Drake, does Drake need Rick Ross? Drake don't got no identity. He got barrettes and fucking finger paint. That's what I'm saying. Niggas, niggas is fool. No, Drake move with the time, though. He's That's what I'm like saying. Jay-Z. Ross been Ross. Like you said, Flo. He ain't shit. That's what I said, my nigga. McDonald's still McDonald's. I had it today yeah. for breakfast and lunch. Goddamn, I'm going to pay for it tomorrow. Yeah. But it's still the same thing. Now I'm looking at the game. I'm looking at everything. I'm looking at everything like this. When you said rap, 
I'm thinking Griselda. You talk that's 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 rap, nigga. It's so vast. He don't rap better than Ned, nigga, and Griselda. You said rap. That's why I said. So you say Kendrick. He he just told you what he did eight years ago. It's come Drizzy is something like. Don't get it twisted though. This icon status. He know how to. But also too, Icarus, nigga. You get too close to the sun, you gotta fall. So niggas, somebody knows something about Drizzy. That we don't know. That's no, all I'm no, saying. No, no. A friend to everyone is a friend to no one. To no one. Thank you, bro. And y'all niggas been dick riding this nigga. He had a Dominican nigga. album, King. What yo, the fuck? Th- yo, yo, but, <laughs> but this, the, the, this the thing. The game been <laughs> like, <laughs> niggas in the game been dick riding Drake for so long, right? Now, everybody got a problem with him? This is a little weird to me. And, and, and it's like, yo, we got a shot to dethrone this dude. It's kind of like, it's kind of, it's funny that we keep talking about basketball because Kanda was like, what we going to do about LeBron? In the league, you feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Every finals, every whatever, whatever, Bron is a part of it. Bron got a piece of this. We can't get away from this dude. So when he finally missed a few years, you feel what I'm saying? Or he got eliminated or he got hurt. Niggas, we had something else to root for. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It feel like this is what y'all trying to do yes. to break right now. Because he's, it's not in your favor anymore. Nah, but you LeBron, feel I, I feel like, nah, I feel like also too, he might not have been paid his dues. It's, so, it's something on the background. Who? Dr- LeBron? Nah, Drizzy. Oh. LeBron no, signed to say how I'm much dudes. I mean, but hold on. I am happy you brought up basketball. But wait, why would, what, Drake, what dudes do yeah, Drake that's, have, I, because has to pay? Drake, right? Drake you, you don't pay dudes with the hottest artist in the fucking country. Y'all created this oh, monster. Oh, no. He's the hottest nigga out. Ask Kendrick. <laughs> so I want to bring this up, and, and I know you mentioned on the last pox, I know you are a big J. Cole fan, uh, but Cole came out, apologized for his Kendrick diss, and... A lot of people were pissed off. A lot of people were upset. And I understand. But as a... I would probably say you are a resident J. Cole fan. Absolutely. Let us Absolutely. know how you feel, how it meant to you, and, and what you but thought about I've it. Always, I know Cole is on his, like, fucking Meta World Peace Tour. He's like... He's like, you feel me? He's trying to avoid conflict. Metta World, World Peace Tour is fucking up. No, you know what I'm saying? He wants to be like... Right at the elbow the nigga. You know what I'm saying? No, like, I'm just saying, though. Like, he... Like, Cole trying to keep it cool with everybody. He never was a dude about problems. He ain't trying to create problems. But I also understand, as a Cole fan, that you've always said, if problems come towards you, you're going to handle them shits. Right? And now it just seems like you backtracking on that shit. Like, I understand you and Kendrick cool, but... You caught that straight for no reason. You've never said anything about Kendrick. You never came at him any type of way. Never complained about what he was doing or any of that. Kendrick could have easily went at Drake without mentioning you. You feel what I'm saying? But for some reason, he included you in that shit because it's smoke for everybody, like he said before. Because even on the control verse, he said, Jermaine Cole, I got love for all of you niggas. But I'll smoke all y'all too. That's exactly what he said. What did, what did you think of the cold diss? The cold diss, like, I, I, I really think it could have been better. I, 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 Because, I, like I said, I know these artists. I know you better than what you gave us. So that's probably how I, I believe when you say your whole heart wasn't in that diss, I kind of could tell listening to it. Because the tape as itself, it's mm-hmm. all right. It's, just, it's a good fucking tape. Like, if you go, he's spitting on some of them shits. And there's some of those songs, I'm like, yo, this shit harder than the diss. But niggas just or are we giving the, the, this too is much just credit. What you, what you think of the diss? I think I'm sorry. I love Cole. I love Cole. I heard uh, O3 Vito. I mean, O3 Vito, he said some shit earlier or whatever, like with the albums and shit. Because he's like, he fucked with Cole too, but he was like, the albums. Are, I mean, some of them, but I play like this. Niggas think he Jimmy Butler when he probably Tobias Harris. No way. Oh. No way. Shit. Now I'm going to no ask for stats no and numbers. I'm not talking about no the. Not, oh. Cause, cause, cause here's the thing. We're not about to do that. We're not about to do that. We're definitely not about to do that. So I think Tobias Harris turned into Scottie Pippen. Yeah, no, no, no. I think he turned into something niggas never seen. When the lights on, Joel and B get upset. <laughs> That's all I'm going off of. That's I can't. I think I don't write the contract. When the lights on, Jimmy Butler say fuck the Timberwolves. <laughs> Now, look, when the, the lights on, Jimmy Butler go to the finals. Listen, Tobias listen, Harris listen, don't play listen, this much. You're wild so I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm not saying J. Wild Cole, wild wild none of that. I'm wild just wild saying, wild. where do I need to be when you show up? No. He's out. Like, and this is the thing, though. Like, who is Drake rapping next to? 
that that's giving him credibility. Why does no, he have? Don't do that. Why does he have? No, yeah, so let's many do it. He rap with Drake. He rap with Jay Z. He rap with Jay Z. When yo, come on, Drake, had, Drake and Jay have like three records together. Nigga, what? What are you? T- name them. Name them. Oh, uh, what? The, what does that mean? I know they have the records. I don't know what I'm talking and, about. And, first of all, Jay Z definitely watched him on I'm those two no, early ones. I'm just saying. You said he had was a it light. Uh, um, Damn, I kind of remember one of them. Light, actually, light, light it up. up. Well, he smoked them. No. Jay smoked, smoked them. And then he did... Yeah, Jay, uh, he did Jay, another Jay, one. I think Jay smoked Scorpion. them too. No, nah, he did the one on Scorpion. I but forgot the name like, of that listen, one. Listen, like, nigga, J. Cole is out like here rapping though. next to fucking Benny the Butcher, son. Ooh, okay. he held okay. that. No, right. and, and, and like, no, not for nothing. No, 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 Nothing. In a fucking booth. Nothing. Okay. We're not about to play. Like, okay. what are we talking so, hold on, about? Hold on. What first are we off, talking about? First off, first off, they did do a record together. First did off. it come out? No. But exactly. Ben, but Benny so what the it. fuck do no, we care? But Benny leaked it and Drake fucking held his own. Let's, let's first off. Not like, and Cole won. He got a Cole won. Cole won. Cole won, though. Secondly. He outrapped one of the best lyricists in the game to date. Secondly. Let's... That's not I, known for I, shenanigans. Wait, wait, That's wait, not wait. known for songs. That That's was known for Kobe. just rapping. Because I argue wait. myself, which which verse is better? Because depending on which day I listen to it, I'm like, oh, okay. that it's but perfect. Benny, but That's Benny, a perfect song. This, Benny the Butcher is not the fucking holder of the of the hottest rappers out because respectfully, he's a better lyricist than respectfully, Drake. Respectfully, Benny's having the best thing out of his camp. Respectfully, yes, he is. But respectfully, yes, no, he is. No, he is not. No, hold yes, he hold is. Respectfully, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, he I'm is not, not arguing that, but oh, he's so, better than Drake. So, so uh, but I'm just saying, I'm you, not arguing you, that. But you use Benny as like the. I'm the, not arguing that because he's better holder. than Drake. Well, I'm saying, use Benny as a. Well, flag everybody holder. is. He not even the best out of his camp. So that's all I'm saying. Let's, let's oh, calm down. So no, I, I, I that never camp said that. That's what I'm saying. I never said that. But you said Cole rap with Benny. Because he's revered okay. as a lyricist, though. No, like strict. No, 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 no. Hold up. Strictly for being a lyricist, not making songs, yeah. not pop music, not singing, not dances. Strictly Drake for being a lyricist. <laughs> yeah. Why is nigga acting wait. like Hall and Oates should get fucking teardrops next to their cheek? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? You know, I'm not taking nothing away no, from listen, that. Thank you, Chop. But I'm why just saying. Why do I use that against Drake? Like that's a bad thing. I'm, I'm just saying. Like if he we're pointing out his rap, if we're, if we're talking about, about listen, if we're talking about. Uh-huh. Lyrical ability in hip hop, rap ability in hip hop. There is a very distinct difference between the motherfuckers in mainstream and the motherfuckers that's kind of underground, even though they still mainstream. And Griselda is the perfect example of people who are underground but are the most mainstream underground niggas and, and, out there. And Drake rap okay. with them and Drake. Drake what? Nothing. More than, nothing. More than held his own. Why that song not out there? Because Dirty Ace Smash. What the fuck? Yo, Ryan Apple. Yo, Yo, we can keep going. Shout listen. out my, my, my nigga Izzy oh, no, from no, the no. wick. Oh, no, we going. We, 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 we going. Yo, we going. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Listen. Those niggas, hold up. Listen. Hold up. My nigga get home. J. Cole is actually one to step in these niggas round though. J. Cole is actually one of those niggas who's going to rap outside of that shit. Drake ain't doing that shit. You know why? He don't want to get embarrassed. He, he grabbed Conductor and put him on the fucking Conductor is a, Conductor makes beats. He's not a rapper. But you said he He's can't He's not make a rapper. Music. No, no, no. I didn't say... That's... I did not say he can't make that type of music. I say he don't rap next to these people. But he For did. a reason. You feel shallow. He didn't. Though. He Where did. is it? But Where that, is it? We irrelevant. know. Like, so listen, no, it's not irrelevant. Not, it's not irrelevant. 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 Because I could name you, I could name you the Benny the Butcher and the J. Cole uh track. But you I can name it. I can't name that shit with J. Cole. I'm sorry, with uh Drake, Drake and, and Benny. Benny. I can't name it. it. How many people Drake have seen it? Massage. How many people name have it. heard it? Spit a bar. How many nigga. people have no, heard it? We all heard that. We all heard that J. Cole and Benny the Butcher shit. But what does dropping the record have to do with the fact that I'm rapping? Next to real lyricists, the J Cole is uh, he's acknowledging that these niggas are the real spitters in the game right now. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Can 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 we can we acknowledge that the record exists? What does it mean though? I've have not. I've never heard it. I can't acknowledge that record. And it's not. I can't acknowledge Mike Jack. And it's not out. Fucking plastic surgery. And it's not out. I'm out. What am I gonna do? I'm, but like, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying I'm though, the Drake, the Drake He's shit, been like, lying all night. This nigga's worse than I, I Mitt Romney. I cannot sit here Shop. and say that he's worse facts. than That's why you Mitt. feel like you're crazy. He's talking <laughs> fucking nonsense. You name none of that. No. He said, <laughs> name more. <laughs> <laughs> and we keep naming. Listen, right, Drake, Drake is right, on top. And look, I said this before. Last thing I'm gonna say about it. Drake is on top, right? Because he is the one that 
capitalizes the most out of all of the aspects. Song making, actual lyrical ability, marketing. Drake is the one out of the big three that we talk about all the time that capitalizes in every aspect. So when we say he's the top dude in the game, that's what we're referring to. But we're not saying that you're the greatest lyricist out here. Business wise, we're not saying, like, yeah, how like, you, how like you, you would, as far as I think he's the, all, I don't think there has been a better song maker than Drake in the last 20 he's years. He's LeBron in this shit. As far as songs as go, cornering. So it don't matter you what you're doing on a song. You feel what I'm yes. saying? It don't matter if you come on a song singing. It don't matter if you're rapping. It, like, you feel me? It don't matter if you're just doing hymns or whatever. I know if Drake's a part of that shit, it's going to be kind of bit. Pause. 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 <laughs> it's going to do numbers. Yeah, it's going to do numbers. Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. That's... No bad boy. Whoa. None of that. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> so, yo, real quick. Last, yeah. You have any last thoughts? Uh, on what? <laughs> Sexual assault? What are we Fuck talking it. about? We'll, we'll keep going. So you mentioned earlier, you mentioned basketball earlier, and I'm happy you did. <laughs> so uh, we just, the WNBA draft just happened. Um, so actually, let's get some claps for all the ladies that got Yeah, drafted. ladies, get that. Get that uh, let's, mini, let's mini get, bag. Let's, let's get the claps for all 27 of you, uh, Jones. <laughs> <laughs> No, I should have did that shit. That wasn't necessary. You had to do that. I ain't yeah, hate it, but that. like, so what is on, hold, on, hold on, hold on. So, um, the draft just happened. Obviously, mm-hmm. Caitlin Clark was the number one pick. Um, and the numbers came out for her championship game versus the men's game. And the oh. women's game smoked the men's game when it comes to viewership. Yep. It almost damn near close. No, nah, I think I think it was like 17 something to like 12 million. Something they killed like them. Fuck so, the so, actual But the, the women smoked them, right? Mm-hmm. So, I want to ask y'all two questions. One, do you think the WNBA can can gain true growth to be like a legitimate, and I say that they're not legitimate, but to be a bigger major uh, major league sports team? Just be better. You and, said be, and, be better. And, and B, why do you think the women beat the men? I, so I'll start this off. I'll answer both of those questions. So first off, I think the women beat the men twofold. I think, A, the women realized what social media can do for you. Okay, we we live in a time if you are an attractive woman and you put fucking a bikini on, you're most likely going to get 100,000 followers. That's okay. that is a fact and it is what it is. Right. So I think a lot of these women like the Angel Reese's of the world and some of them who understand that have used that to their advantage. Now, on top of that, you can be a Caitlin Clark and just do Steph Curry shit or, or shit that most people haven't seen before. Right. And that's her appeal. Right? We have never, and there's been a lot of great women basketball players. We have seen none of them take two steps past half court, shoot the ball, and make it. Respectful. Steph Curry type. We, we have never seen no Whoa. woman do no, no, do no shit like that. And, and it is what it is, right? And I think on top of that, I think the women understand how to make themselves a brand. Whereas the men's basketball team, do you know anybody by a first name? I disagree 100%. Who do, who do you know in men's college basketball by first name? Shot, can I get this? Um, I'm going to get this first. First off, you're sexist. You've been Republican <laughs> way too long. It's only been short. Wait, that's how crazy. I, where did anything that said I'm sexist? Oh, my um, God. All I heard was, bitches ball in bikinis. <laughs> yeah. uh, he ain't say that. He didn't say that. He, no, he, he doesn't think I, like that's that. That's not what I but said. That's what I heard. That's not what I said. I said the women I'm are troubled. smart. That's what I heard. <laughs> so let's get to it. What I'm saying is, to be honest, only reason college women's basketball boom is because this shit is an open field for better gambling. And now that y'all open Vegas up, y'all don't see it. First off, fuck no. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me explain. Let me explain. It. It. I'm, I'm explaining it twofold and how it trickles down into professional. Any. Anytime women do shit physical, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not this is not sexy. Anytime women do shit physical, shit. it has to be a liking for monetary value. I'm only saying this because I don't make the rules. I follow them sometimes, but I pay the wages. The wagers say <laughs> that it's way more vast right now not to know the outcome for women. We just opened up betting in Vegas. Men, we don't know who to bet on. Calipari's out. Duke's out. It's too open. We don't know the top 50 niggas in UConn's back to back champions. No, nah. all right. So, but tie that in the viewership. Now, bro. how many niggas from UConn are doing anything in the league? Last highest niggas was who? But, that's kind, of, but that's kind of my point. No, no. 
Now, this is my point. We know Caitlin Clark is buzzing. Look at those motherfucking NCAA numbers, though, for betters. We, I don't know. We I don't know. Understand. We know. His, we know. Andrew Reese, all this shit. Why is it a dramatic drop off? Because here, it's a dramatic pickup for the NBA. But if your argument is more people are betting on, no, on women basketball than no. it's men, that's not true. Um, no, no, it's just for women in this particular range. But I'm just saying that's not true. There's definitely more people betting no, on no. men's basketball than there are. Obviously, women. because we dominate sports. But I'm saying this: this range for this for this time. I'm talking this moment. Right. Niggas wasn't talking about women's basketball until March Madness. Wait, wait. To answer no, you, that's like, not true. That's I think, not true. I think no, you, you, you asked. No, but that's no, wrong. But you that, asked, that but you asked like, how many we no. know by first name no, basis. Now, that's because a but, lot of these dudes we already know before. No, but, but they, but here, a lot of them not no, even now, playing now college ball. To, now about to trickle on. No, I'm just saying, though. A lot of them. Wait, wait. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm not done. I was a two part. It was It was the WNBA. It was. How many teams are in the WNBA? I don't know. I don't know. Twenty. Exactly. Yeah, I don't know. Twelve. Twelve. No. There's no way. It's there's 12. no way. There's. 12. Thank you, niggas. There's no way. There's. Thank 12. you, I'm niggas. Right hey, 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 Mike, look it up. <laughs> Chef, look it up. 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 No Give me a thumb scroll. Chef, there's no way. There's. Kaledi in the background. Yo, so Hot so Chef right? in your the area. There's, you ain't even in the area. There is no way. There's twelve. Yeah. He said it's twelve. I do this because I'm autistic. <laughs> I can't 12, read, bro. but numbers mean everything. It's 12. Oh. I watched 12 oh, shit, teams 12. pick three times in the first round. <laughs> Yo, it's 12. Oh, shit. I know Part of my 12. language. Who are these bitches? <laughs> <laughs> I know five. <laughs> Who are the other 38 women? <laughs> Nah, yo, chill, 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 chill. you shoot from forty feet? Car- she shooting your head. That's what I said. But my so argument now, is just I'm looking at you, crazy ass, freaky ass niggas. Why are you going so hard in the NCAA? But the numbers drop off. Hey, hold up, hold up, though. drop off where? Listen, though? the reason it, it, I feel like the reason oh, we the don't WNBA. know, yeah, we don't yeah, know a lot of these like the male dudes anymore is because a lot of the ones that we do know, they're not even going to college anymore. Facts. Like, we got them dudes playing wherever they're from, and they playing in professional leagues and shit I like that. The they're going to the G League. They're, they're going to the G League. They're actually, actually, Australia. They're like, Scoot Henderson, for example. He's, he was, I think he was uh, in the G League. G League. I'm not Ignite. mistaken. That, G that, that team's actually, so I looked at the percentage. That, that's only with roughly in between. I'm autistic. Recently, though. Uh, 12 to 17, G League Ignite. They're also dismilling it. No, it's but like, I know percentage. Zach Eady. I know but yeah, that college, nigga. But, but you but know. No, he, he said how many college... People but I know my first but, name. But, but, but he's he couldn't one get the USA the shit for the draft rights because he wanted the, the NIL rights. Yeah. Like I said, I'm autistic America. So I looked at numbers. Most of the talent, first off, if your kid is tall, just tell him duck. Fuck the NBA. <laughs> duck. But look, it's listen. 450 niggas. If he can read well, <laughs> God damn it, have a reading contest. This NBA shit, my nigga, because look at the percentages of numbers for that male NBA players coming from overseas. That's it's a, a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. But that's why we don't know these NCAA dudes that's like what we did. I'm saying. Because no, like, no. we knew Wimby. So that's not fair. We knew Wimby. Four we didn't year, know. No, four he's right, years though. Ago, he's right, four though. Four years ago. That's not true. Because four or five years ago, we knew a bunch of niggas. I'm not talking about four. We're talking about now, right though. Now. But, Four of them the, the, the NCAA but, uh, but your answer, prospects. Wait, but but your point is what you just said was because there's a small amount of people that are going to make it to the league from college, or even yes. a small amount of people playing college. That's why we know less of the players. That's not true. No, that's no, not, that's not what I said. That's not what I said. That's what you just said. You interjected. <laughs> what what part I missed? You're Republican. You just interjected, <laughs> oh and you didn't let me finish. <laughs> so what I was saying is basically what it is is. It's just an over. It's an over. Whenever it's an over, it's right now. It's an overbearing in the men's league. Everybody's doing the same thing. Da, 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 da. So our talent uh, is is oversaturated. So our concentration switched to women's. But no, I, it's, an iso- it's an isolated view on one person. Wait, listen. Everybody in the men's league is doing the same thing. School Henderson, number two pick. Nobody's talking about him. Wimby, number one. Everyone's talking about him. Everybody's talking about. Him. Here's the thing. Who was number one before him? Last year? Ba- exactly. No. My nigga, that's uh, on the magic. Yeah. Nobody talking no. about him. Yeah, Paolo is they are. Paolo Panchero. Nobody's talking about him. He is, though. Paolo Panchero, he is, though. No, the magic are in the playoffs right now. The magic are in the playoffs right now. I've never been to Iowa. Hold on. I'll never go. The magic are in the playoffs right now. Paolo, Paolo Banchero has done everything he's supposed to do. He's done the same thing as LeBron did in Cleveland. Orlando's way better. No, but hey, LeBron's coming out of high school. 
There's a major difference. Tama, all right, wait, hold up. Before we get on He was like one of the few people to do it. You and can't compare with the people to Paolo Banquero. Do you remember the question, though? Yeah, I so twofold. Bad niggas went do, out. Do we think the WNBA can basically catch the same fire that the college, the college no. women game did? And what was the other part? And B, why do we think the, the uh, women's game They're outdid the men's, the men's game? All right, so I do think the WNBA has an opportunity right now because y'all hot. Y'all hot. So ride the momentum. And if you take this momentum that has been in the NCAA, that's when that's been surrounded by Caitlin Clark and a lot of these girls that played at South Carolina or UConn, and you take that momentum and you transfer it into the NBA, you have an opportunity. Because guess what? There's a lot of girls. Because did y'all forget who the fuck Brianna Stewart was? Right. Like, so- there's a lot of dope. Like, wait, hold up. I, there's a lot of dope, like, Women in the WNBA right now that we forgot about when they left college. Can she de some there. Oh, chill, chill, chill. <laughs> so now, I think the WNBA has an opportunity to answer your question. They do have an opportunity to raise these ratings, but it's not on us. Shit. It's not on the men. It's, it's on women. It's, not, it's on the women. Like if y'all want these ratings to get better, women y'all want got, these women, women got to start watching more, women's sports. Go watch women's sports. This is a fucking and y'all class. show up for them. Women, women got to start watching women's sports. Because, women's because sports. look, because they got to start watching women's sports. Women's sports, women's sports but they know who LeBron is. That, they know who Steph Curry is. And you know what? To go to they know who that is. To go to your point, I'm gonna let you go. To go to your point. And this is where I think the WNBA has kind of messed up in the past where they have a chance to do better, right? There are a lot of women who watch male sports because they are attracted to the guy. Exactly. Right? Oh, I like the Giants, or I like the Giants because I like Saquon. Oh, I like the Eagles because I like Jalen Hurts. Oh, I like whoever because that guy's cute, right? Mm-hmm. I think the WNBA needs to like no, dive deeper. I don't have to no, no, say we no, 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 but no, no, but that's what I'm saying. That's not true. No, 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 wait, wait. That's who that, I text I, I every I, Sunday on the Lord. I'm not saying sexualize them. I'm saying let them be who they are. What yeah. I'm saying is I'm not telling you to go ask who the WNBA Stewart to to be in a bikini. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying is if Angel Reese already has a following because she does that. Embrace that. If yeah. pa- Paige Buck is the chick from UConn, Duke, she yeah. don't get naked at all, but she fly. Yeah. Let her keep let being her fly. If whoever, do, if Kaylin Clark, she's not the pr- Hey, she, her highlights, it was hot. Dive, like dive but in see, to is, what makes the women already popping and really fucking dive this into This is it. why I was about to allude to, to the second part of the question. So now I think they did better because the men's, I feel like the men's NCAA, a lot of the competition is getting closer in skill. We all could do the same thing. You feel what I'm saying? Like it's nothing special. Yes, yes. Not, nobody's there, popping off the chart. There's no character. There's no so there's now. There's no like. There's no. What's happening like, though in the NCAA is we have star power. You know what I'm saying? We had we know who Paige Bukers is on the women's side. You we mean. know who yeah, yeah, yeah. We know who Paige Bukers is. We know who Angel Reese is. We know who Caitlin Clark is. We knew who Aaliyah Boston was. We, you know what I'm saying? We know who these girls are now. So people are watching because they like yo. Is the girl who just broke all of the uh, records gonna win the, the right. title finally? There's a story oh, there. Oh, slow There's your roll. a story. Slow your roll because she well, just got smoked last through, year at though. LSU. Hold up. She just got smoked at L- by LSU. Now this year you get smoked by South Carolina. You feel what I'm saying? So it's not a definite that the person y'all think is the best player is going to win. So it's all the more reason for us to watch. Because there's a story. Because there's a story behind it. I agree. You get what I'm saying? Nah, there, there's names can, behind it. Can I say this? Can I say this? They I'm actually not, have more wrong. star You're not power wrong. than Let's the go. Go. But we being but we, we too, we being too, we be. I'm not political. I can't vote. I squander that away, America. Yes, he can. I don't know but he understand can. this. <laughs> yes, the understand he can vote. this. He can vote a lot. Women's sports is like cooking, and thank God oh, we shit. got two chefs here. We got one in the back that's that's better than your grandmother you love daily. Show us some things. This is what I'm saying. Women's sports is like cooking. Who the fuck want to eat at the number two restaurant? Only if you can't get reservations to the first one. Luckily, we got somebody who got the best one. So what I'm saying no, is... No, but see, the number one ain't got no was, Michelin stars. So who number two? The number two got more Michelin stars, though. Fact. You talking about the number one player. But I got eight back. You talking about the number one player, but she this ain't got saying. the number this one saying. team. But this what I'm saying. This was him. South Carolina was undefeated. Not I know even, who Dawn Staley won every game. She every game her Dawn team Staley played. Dawn Staley better than a joint D and Caitlin Clark. Donut. That's what I'm she saying. She did not lose who? no games. Their team did not lose any games. But somehow, every time we turn our TV on, okay. they talk about Caitlin Clark. I'll play like Hold this. up. Let's not forget about Juju Watkins, though. Mm. Who was also dropping mm. 50, 50 burgers. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? The women's NCAA has more you. star power. But innately... 
innately. That's I'm why we watch him. We know them. That's why we watch him. That's exactly now what King when said. Now it becomes professional, it's like. It's up to the WNBA. No, but but that but that is and that's where I I agree with y'all hundred percent. It's up to the WNBA, and that's where I think you're 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 missing the point. I think you because you're saying I'm no 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 wait, no no no, no, listen, no but listen but listen but listen because you, said, you no no but you said one versus two right and and that's and that can be fine. But Pat Bad but, said but no, he was trans but listen, tonight, nigga. He the MVP for the I, next ten seasons. I'll give, give you a good Why example. Why do y'all do this? I'll give you a good example. I'll give you a good example. There's a soccer team called Wrexham. So, Wrexham FC, okay? They are owned by Ryan Reynolds and some other actors. Yes. Okay. It's Seattle. It, I don't know where the... No, they're in It's West Coast. No, right. nigga, this is England. They're in England. Ryan Reynolds. No, that, the, the actor, the oh, actor. The actor, nigga. The actor, yeah. nigga. Yeah, yeah. It's so, not West Coast. Oh, that's no, no, my bad. That's the cracker. Cracker. So, my bad, So my bad. they own a soccer team, okay? That soccer team was in the lowest possible division in that country. Okay. okay? Nobody gave a fuck about that soccer team. You know what Ryan Reynolds and his homeboy did? They gave them a fucking story. Guess what? In the past five years, they're now about to get to the top fucking league in that country. That's a big do you team, want, though. But do you, and that's my point. What the when fuck? You, when you give any sports team a story, a story yeah. something to dive into, the news, the people who are watching, fans, whoever are going to dive into it. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if they're the best at whatever. The point is, they have the best story. I'm not talking and that about is, that. And, but that's the truth. That, no, and, it's and not. that's sports. That is Stop lying to these niggas. Name, name, no, name, 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 a, name a final listen. that doesn't have a story to it. But listen, no. But when, I'm a, when, name I'm a, any, I'm tell you, any listen, sport. I'm going to tell you something, though. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. That's crazy. It's about to backtrack on what we well, said in the beginning, going. right? Shit, Hold on, wait. I'm talking two seconds, shot. Two seconds. Shit, Real quick. quick. Real quick. How, <laughs> how many times have y'all women be like, let's go see a, a woman's sport? That is, recently, not, exactly. recently more than ever and that's before. why I wish you didn't cut me off just now because okay. now, more than ever, men are watching the women Yeah, play. more than ever before. We just said that the women need women to watch, but guess what else is going to help? Because we were just talking about how much women actually watch male sports. I, I have watched the, the most- men's I've, I've watched, watched the most, the most college NCAA college. Like it. college. Who y'all like it? Yeah, yo, I was with them girls playing. You know what? Yes. You, know you want to know how yes. know college I like? Wait, 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 wait. You want to know? You want to know? I can prove your point. I went to a bar. Me and four of my homies. We went to a bar in Roselle. Okay, a local bar. Okay, okay. To go watch the the women's game. It was uh um it was uh UConn Iowa. Okay, yeah. I watched it as well. Okay, in that bar, at towards the end of that game. Yeah, all the men. men all, the game. And, they, and they were men with their girlfriends. They were just girls chilling. All of the men okay. in that bar were locked into that, that game, game. Okay. and make and reacting to that because game. men actually care about the sport. Here's the question: now, if These girls are actually wait. Listen to me. Listen to no, me. Listen, listen, Where bro. we are right now, right in the state of women's basketball, NCAA. As far as, I, I can't speak much for the WNBA, but as far as college basketball, thanks to Kate and Clark, I'm going to be real with you. That's a fact. I'm going to be very that's real with you. Fact. I'm going to be very real with you. That's thanks a to fact. Kate and Clark, Hayes Bukers, Juju Watkins, Breonna Stewart, before them, thanks to them, they brought heat. You feel what I'm saying? And now you watching yes. these girls play because the games are actually good. Yo, the they games are, 90. they're balling. They be like 87 and 90. They're balling. Y'all not understanding what I'm saying. No, no, no. But we're, <laughs> what we're saying is, there was a time watching women's sports that we just didn't enjoy it because we didn't think they were good enough. Fact. I follow this shit But too. now we know for a fact that this girl has broken not only the NCAA women's scoring record, no. she's broken the men's yeah. too. So all-time NCAA high scorer... About to play in the fucking March Madness again? I'm you think Hell yeah, we watch it. And guess right what? Now. No, 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 but listen. Matter. It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Because listen. Matter. Okay. Because listen then what are we listen. talking about? Listen. Why listen. Are we, listen. But why listen. I'm trying to push listen. Triple H listen. in the fucking head. Listen, you're not listening to King talk about stories because now no story we got the all time scoring there. leader. Women or man, we got the all time scoring leader in NCAA history. How does that not matter? You know what else we have? You we know what else he has? Guess who she's about to play? Guess who she's about to play? For the championship, the only undefeated team in NCAA women's. We're you get what I'm saying? Men. She's about to I play a team y'all. worth watching. But also, dig we this. know this is going to be a good basketball game, not bitches this, with fat asses playing two seconds, basketball. This is, two this is my two seconds. This is what I'm saying. I feel y'all. I swear to God, dude. I, I, I don't and think I actually you do. Follow it. But I, <laughs> I don't I'm, think you I'm do. a challenger. 
Y'all niggas didn't even know it was 12 teams. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's the WNBA. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, we're not talking about the WNBA. I no, but I can accept that. I dig we were never that, talking I about the why WNBA people aren't following team. It. I'm only challenging you We were never talking hold on, hold on, about hold on, hold on. the WNBA hold on, hold on, teams, hold on. though. This was college basketball. We never no, were talking about the but WNBA. My, my thing is, like, why is the, the trickle down? The trickle down. Because I want to know, why is it so vast at this field, right? Caitlin Clark. Now the numbers, here's the thing. Then I think back. We've seen Caitlyn Clark no, we before. Have not. Nigga, she don't read it with UConn. Y'all forgot. Y'all forgot. What, what's her name? Name who? Maya Moore. She wasn't doing what Caitlyn was Skyla doing. Diggers. Oh, 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 she, wasn't. she wasn't, though. Who the fuck care? Caitlyn, you that John. I know a nigga right now from South Orange again. You're why talking you about men, though. We're well, not talking about men. I'm talking about men. I'm trying to beat up other. Triple H. I You're don't give a fuck. You're talking about men. Jimmy Butler getting 50 from the free throw. I don't care. And you know what? We love women's sports. Oh, yeah. Do no, something we that makes yeah, you say, yeah, wow. Y'all, yeah, yeah. hear the thing. Y'all acting. Bro, I mean, I, I, I'm yeah. not Republican, though. Yo, so, let's go, know. Hillary. So we're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep pushing. Yeah, we're going to keep pushing. Um, so for a lot of you who don't know, um, I've known this young man for many, many years since I was a young lad. I've known my man to my left for many, many years since I was a young lad. Uh, but Family things. Me, me and you... Um, our, our group chat has been been booming. Um, so one of the things that I wanted to just ask openly here and, and see what the reaction will be. Um, in what situation would you take your partner back if he or she, mostly she, or were, she. To, were to cheat on you? He or she, nigga? Uh, I mean, you know, shout out to LGBTQ. Uh, no, we, none of us in here is a part of that team. <laughs> 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 Nobody in there. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, what are we talking about? You niggas got a truth. He knows something about you. He don't I'm know. talking to the people. I'm talking he to the people. He's talking about people. you. He ain't talking about us. He's talking to America. He's talking to America. us. You ain't asking. America, around the world, around the world. Or he got a truth moment, shout out. Because I'm clean. He jumping out. So if you spill some coffee on your resume, you might as well. Let us know now. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> or he? No, just she here. I'm trying to be inclusive. With what us? Else? No, we. Right, you don't right. need to be inclusive. You know, you know who we years. play for? Oh, hey, so you just said you knew us for a while. Yeah. You I, know what we like? Who the GM? What the fuck is you nigga, talking about? What you about? gotta tell us? God damn it! I like my French toast with powder. No hell no! Like, hey, I, I should have saw this one coming. Yeah. Right, in in, in, in <laughs> what, what situation? In what situation? We take her you, back. Would you take your lady back if she cheated on you? Oh man! Whoever wants to jump in first, feel free. The one that it would not never. <laughs> you, so, so you, all right. I'm married. So, I, so I'll answer. And I've thought about this. I've legit thought about this. I think I would consider working it out if the most that happened was like texting and maybe a kiss. Maybe. Huh. Maybe. I, don't, I don't know if that's Maybe. particularly now, cheating, now, though. Like. Not, fuck you, that's cheating. It but, is, it but, is but, and, but... And I want to emphasize this is strictly, strictly thinking of my wife. What's the time frame? I'm strictly thinking of my wife. you talking about your, your, your my married, own, your my wife? Own, no, no. Whatever situation you want to bring up, my example... No, 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 no. no. Well, my example is strictly Specifics. of my wife. My, your my, wife. So my, your wife and she did this. Yeah, okay, cool. You're married. You're married or you're in a long-term relationship. I'm getting the fucking house, cocksucker. <laughs> you out. So there's nothing, there is no way My, you accept it. I, early on, it's whatever. But I'm saying this. First off with men. Honestly, I'm glad. We talk with sports. Men, hold yourself to a higher standard. It ain't none of that. Did it, but why would I wouldn't do this? Fuck that. I'll put it like this. Life is volleyball. Are you going to beat the varsity women's volleyball team or not? If not, you niggas have to rethink things, guys. <laughs> Why That's what I'm saying. Because it's this. It's this. It's this. It's this. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I, yo, yo. Why do you keep going back? Nah. I've been trying. This is a fucking joke. Nah, yo, real rap. Go question, ahead, go bro. ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It's a heavy go ahead, question, go ahead. bro, because it's this. Everything that your woman throws at you, you going to throw back? Are you going in the game? That's what I'm saying. Fuck, I'm, I'm not competing with my woman. 
I'm not arguing with her with some shit. We bigging each other up. And also, she has to realize I might be the head, but she the neck. So you do some shit like that. You was you do you feel because at the end of the day, women and with equal, whatever. Different, yes. So you, so you, you choose to go to brunch with this nigga and suck tons. I don't care. You, you, you had sex or whatever. That Jada Pika shit. Nah, she got sex, y'all sex fucked is my up. bar. Sex is like sex, yo, yo. Text no what I'm saying though. Like, text text levels too. to cheating. Sex my is boy. no coming back. Yeah. Sex is no it's coming back. Levels to it. That ring though, when that ring on, that's different too. Ain't shit. Ain't shit. Ain't shit. That's what my so I, sex is my line. And this that, sex I, I, with marriage? I can't take it back. No. Sex, I can't take it back. No, nothing. I don't think anything. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree with him. If no, we marry, nothing. nothing on the table. You shouldn't kiss another motherfucker. Nothing. Text. Unless I don't got caught doing some shit or you got well, like, so that's, that's different. Like, but okay. especially if we marry. I'll let you, I'll let you answer first. If we marry, so, nothing's so on the table. No, so there is no line for you. Nothing's on the table. The minute it happens, it's over. Nothing. I don't think that's real. If we marry, not a relationship, it's a little different. If we just go together, that's a little different. Like, Oh, you think it's different if you're just going together? Hell I yeah! Maybe you married? I, I think I'm more strict going together than married. No, hell, why no, would you be? Oh, oh, why oh. would you be? No, no, you're about to spend your life with yet. this person. Let me explain. But let me explain. You about to spend I, your life with this but no, person? No, but I would have never got to marriage with you. Jeez. Is my point. If we if we were just going together, marriage like I wouldn't be having you this conversation with you. You wouldn't marry. That's what I'm saying. So I, 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 never, I never would have gotten to the marriage. That's what I'm saying. I agree that. But if you do make it to the marriage. Right? This is crazy. Well, because my my okay. So my question it's kind of worse. So like my question, right? I, I I okay. I see what you mean, but I use marriage as the kind of line for this because again, if you're if you're dating somebody and they and or if you're legit dating and she cheated on you, then we're not even getting to marriage. I'm talking right. about where you're you're kind of locked because people don't understand like. Getting a divorce is 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 not it's fucking not easy. easy. Yeah, it's like, not easy. There's a it's lot that goes into it. So that's why I wanted to know, like, what is the line for you to see, go you down that like, divorce that's the thing, path? When you ask this question, right? Like, you being a married man, you're you you can't really you got to ask it from a certain perspective. You know what I'm saying? You got to ask. So if you were married, or like, or you just talking about relationships. Okay, so, so, so to be people more specific, look at those two things very to be, differently. To be more specific, if you were married, what if, would be your line? If I was married, you if do you anything is cut. Really? You do anything is cut. Oh, oh. Go- oh, wait. This is perfect. It's cut. In a relationship, married, engaged. These are three different perspectives. That's three what it's like. Three different what, levels very, of relationships. That's why I'm very curious. This is a great question, This is a great question. It's different levels of relationships so ask, that yeah, we all have. So for you, I, for you, you're just hardline. Anything, if you're married, no, well, any type of cheating, asked, it's if over. If I'm married, yeah, any yeah. type of Because I'm trying to spend my life with you. So I'm not going, I'm the type of person, you feel what I'm saying? Like, people, whoever, women, whatever, they're going to look at this like that nigga lying. Like, no, <laughs> no but... If I'm married to you, like <laughs> all of my loyalty and shit like that, it's gonna be to you because we actually married. Mm-hmm. I stood before God and my family and told you that it was just us. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm gonna expect back what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? You can't really expect that back from a girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's not right, really right, too right, right, fair. Right. You feel what I'm saying? So Big love I'm, I'm gonna say it like this: You can expect that, but if she don't, don't do that, true. it's a total different level of disloyalty than it is. You feel me? If you actually married to somebody, agreed. I don't think men yes. love unconditionally. No, men do love I, unconditionally. I, I, I completely no, disagree with cap. you. I think women love that's unconditionally. Cap. You're not crazy. No, I don't think anybody women loves love, unconditionally. No, no. Okay, fair. But I, 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 I definitely, loves, I definitely oh, don't think family, men love unconditionally. Just your family, just your family, bro. I, don't I do think not think men love unconditionally. Not even your family. I don't think anybody loves unconditionally. I, I think I think ninety five percent of men love with a condition. Hell yeah, no, men, women too, hundred percent, women too, absolutely. For, for example, for no. example, for example, for example, absolutely. If you, I think, if let's say you met your wife and she was like this skinny baddie model, right? And in ten years, she's now two hundred pounds overweight. Like, I already, I already, I already, I already no, spilling I, shit on I, her. I, I respectfully, respectfully, no way. No here's, way. Here's, here's the, the thing. The here's, no way. Here's the thing. Here, thank you. As a no way. Thank I know you. you're lying. I know men are lying. No thank way. You. Oriel. I've seen enough niggas do this. The oh, no. dot big dot juice show dot. <laughs> Wait, did you <laughs> just name that? It's cool. No, because I see where Instagram? he was going. I see where he was going. What is that, an Instagram? 
Abercrombie, you like fat bitches now. Fuck with me. Nigga said L'Oreal. Yo, what the fuck? I can't stand this. Hold up. Shy, no fuck. Fuck with me. Shy, fuck with me. Niggas getting flagged, yo. Cool. So, yo. So, yo. so, 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 so. <laughs> that's not I was just talking I was just talking to, I was talking to my, to my man today what we have to understand is or some cheese shit we both been with our ladies for a minute I don't know if you but like you also you're emotionally intelligent so that's what I understand from our conversations off the pod so what I'm saying is that's not love you're not in love that's infatuation I don't mm, care I don't no no no, no. <laughs> my lady my lady been almost 200 now she's almost 130 We've been up and down. That's 15 years in. I'm not a saint. I'm not none of that. But I'm saying, what I also understand is too, don't focus on always being in love. Focus on bringing love. You can't make somebody love you. Not they talking have about, to love themselves. Talking about, talking about, talking about. We like what we like, though. No, no, no. We like what we like. We like Are what we like. Are you always changing? I, I don't you think so. Like I don't think like. so. I don't think I change often. I, but I you really love don't. what you can tolerate. And people are humans, oh, humans. Understand this. No, okay. When you I, I might, want, when I might you, see what you mean. Think now. about it. That's when fair. you say you put that ring on, people are like, fair. I love you forever. Forever is what eternity is. That's true. Fuck but what see, you think. But see, that's because different. now you said divorce. It's How much that cost? You just, like, but see, the difference is I was in love with the person that was 130. Okay. I was in love with the person that was 130. I was okay. in love with what she looked like. I was in love with how she was. I okay. was in love with what she did. But then when you turn into two something and you just not doing anything that I love anymore, you, you can't fault her. me for I, not loving you I anymore. I want to love her. Okay. Like, that's not fair. That's why that's I want to share. That's where hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I, I do want to put one you gotta asterisk. Be real. You got to be real with yourself. I like what I like, my I nigga. don't think that's no, no, no. right, though. That's different. Yes, it is. I no, think no. that's a they reality. Yo, we I think it's a reality. We were talking about Shorty that was with the basketball player, and he ain't getting money no more, and she went and started her only Either you loved her or she ain't love you, because it's a disconnect. I don't think she loved you. Because here's the thing. You said she didn't love you She gave away to the but you stopped doing what you doing. She I love you. you. You also stopped doing what you was doing. Right. Right. I don't think. I what don't, are you willing to talk? No, no, I don't she, think no, you're. You you're right. I just stopped. don't think that. I don't still think that is right. You why, are. But right. why is it? No, no. It's it's right because we are all with people for certain reasons. We got to be honest with ourselves. Yeah, but love is about I don't tolerance. Think, I don't think. Like, I think that's what why are you with your lady. Why are you with your lady, Julius? I'm gonna ask both y'all. I'm gonna ask both y'all. I'm with my lady because this is what I'm fucking with at the point. You doing shit that I like. Okay. I'm saying you. If when you stop doing shit that I don't like or I don't make. It was not making me comfortable. It's not, it's not just looks. Sometimes it's a, a, a attitude. So, Talk to the mic. Talk to the mic. Sometimes it's an attitude. Sometimes it's, it's the way you carry yourself. Sometimes it's the way that you, you talk. You feel what I'm saying? The way that you think. And when those things stop, right, that's when relationship problems begin. It don't matter if you're married or not. They go up again forever. It, it, it get, no, because Forget it doesn't it go in. against forever because you're not being that same person. We're supposed to grow, but if you start backtracking on the shit that I was willing to grow with you on... I don't have to tolerate that. I don't have to put up with that. And that's, a, that's and, the thing. And, not, that's and love. the thing is, that's, that's not just love because I got like, not for nothing. I don't want to put nothing on the ladies, but I got a lot of women that I'm close to. I got a lot of sisters and shit. And I realize a lot of their biggest problems be that they be fucking with these dudes and these dudes stop doing the shit that they loved about them. You know what I'm saying? Because we as men, we know there's a bunch of our homies or well, homeboys what if you always that do catch, shit though? just to get, but what listen, if you always been I see, I've seen it fall out. And I'm listening to what's happening, and I'm like, see, you still giving everything. You still giving everything, and he stopped. That's where y'all real problem is. That's where y'all real problem And it happens to me even in but, my own relationship. I get mad at my shorty. I'm like, I'm not texting you while you at work. I'm not about to send you memes and so, shit. So, I'm so, not doing all. So now so, she even, she mad let, about let me, that let shit. Let me jump in. You feel in. what so, I'm saying? So, this is good. This is let good, though. So this is, wait, hold on. Why you, I, I, why, why love you is love also shorty? consistency. It's not just tolerance. So, it's consistency. So that's, that's right. You need to remain consistent. It hold on. Uh, let me, yes. let me, let me, I'm going to jump in real quick. Yes. I'm going to jump in real quick. This is where I slightly disagree with you. There, there is there is certain levels of consistency, but I, I think, and in, in, I'm coming from a married, I guess, married man perspective, right? There is also a level of understanding that this person that I married is not going to be the same person 10 years from now. Good or bad, I don't know. I hope it's good. But, and this is where I agree with Jules when it comes to tolerance, is 
you have to learn what you're willing to accept and what you're not willing to accept, yeah. right? So, like, there are certain hard-line things that, like, my wife knows, like, John is not going to be cool with this no matter what. Then there are other things yeah, that may, may I, would I necessarily like it? Is that my favorite thing in the world? Yeah. No, but I'm not about to, to but it. I'm not about to sit here and leave you or give you shit about it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, so that's where, that's the part that I would agree I with agree, him but listen, about the tolerance aspect he said because I think to there's 200, a range. Right? He so said like, one, even listen, then, listen to me though. I'm so even then, the I, I don't. 130 to 200 to me is crazy. 70, 70 pounds. 70 pounds. And look, in the time span it happens, it's crazy too. So no, even listen, listen. I think it depends. Because so if you hit 150, right? And I'm like, yo, babe. I mean, you kind of like. Okay, so that's what if you, you like, like it though. If you communicate and what like, if you yo, like it not, though? That's the caveat I was looking for. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's fair. Now you go from 130 to 150, 160, 170. I'm already telling you, like, hey, let's go to the gym together. That's let's fair. do like men, because as men, we can't now, just be out like, yo, you getting fat. What is your fuck people, with it? We can't just go out and be like, yo, you getting fat. I don't like that. Hell I don't no. fuck with that. Because right. now your relationship going in because of that shit. You should, right? We, we your relationship going in because of that shit. Somebody we know about that. Your relationship going in because of that shit. So Pete, though, Shy, when, she start, lie, when she start hitting those those upper weights, nigga, because 200, I'm like, I ain't doing two. I'm not doing two, right? I'm not doing 200. Bitch, I live 215. Yo, when you, you feel what I'm saying? Like, now nah, I can't even pick go, you I up no go more. Go the ledge, bitch. <laughs> so you God damn it, I'm listen. getting new insurance. We starting, we starting at 130, 270 pounds later, so if you get to 150, 160, and I'm like, yo, babe, this kind of in a little, like, something I ain't feeling. By the time you get to 200, I should be able to be like, yo, I'm not doing it. That, so I'm not doing it. There's a level to the tolerance. So before we remember be, with who you dealing with. Be, be, before I move on, Shit, before you, we move on, I was I, fucking I, with you for a reason. I, like I, I want to grab one more perspective. So we we've been hiding him in the background all episodes. So so let's so chef I, cook. I, 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 let, let's let's chef cook. Let's get some crabs going. 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 Yeah. We've been hiding him in the background this it's whole shot. episode. I got to run to the bathroom. He, take my wife. He's, take my wife. He, he's been riding with us this whole episode. I've this been hiding like, him. This your chef favorite fucking chef, stupid. Yeah, Real quick. This is crazy. Real quick. Let's, yeah. let's get some, one more time. Wow. Let's get some claps. Let's get some claps going for Chef Coletti with us. Let's get, some, let's get some claps going for Chef Coletti with us. So I chef, can sit here for another two hours talking about <laughs> all the topics you've been going in on. So, so Chef, we, we want to get your perspective. So I'll ask yeah. you directly. What is Most in what situation? In what situation, or in if, or is there a situation that you would take your partner back if they cheat on you? Uh, I mean, I've been through a situation and shit before. You know what I mean? And it's hard. You know, you like I worked through that shit. But at the end of the day, with relationships, that person got to be your best friend, right? Through through thick and thin, and you got. Like I was like I was young, man, and I and I and I probably fucked up a couple of good relationships that I had. You know what I mean? But because I wasn't communicative, um, you know, just doing dumb shit. You know what I mean? But right. like you grow as a, as a, as a as a person. You know what I mean? I'm not the same person that I was five years ago, six years ago. You going through shit? You know, shit going going on in your in 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 your life business wise shit like that and it makes you a different person you know what i mean but it always come like that cheating shit is is fucked up cuz i cheated on a girl before you know what i mean i've sent some fucking dumb text messages and all that shit you know what i mean and, and it ruined shit and and the trust isn't there anymore you know what i mean right that's a right. huge thing uh like in my case like you just got to be like that's got to be your best friend you know what i mean you got to be able to build and 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 grow with somebody step by step through the hardships through through the good times through everything that's like what really builds a relationship like our our parents growing up you know back in the day motherfuckers had fucking gumas you know what i mean yeah. fucking four wives and three you five know what i mean yeah, you take the yo gumas that's a f- yo <laughs> yo <laughs> fucking gumas yo gumas gumas was friday mother, night and and and, and the wife was saturday shit, night bro my God, my you know what I mean? Pop, it's a different time now. Knew, nigga. What? Yeah, nah, them old. Sh- yo, our parents. Facts. It was a different time. Mom. Shout out to our moms Facts. and grandmothers. And let me get some clap. Shout, shout out to, to our for moms, that, grandmothers, yeah, great grandmothers. Because I know, I know, 
know, I know our fathers, great grandfathers, grandfathers was giving shit. y'all Word. hell. Yeah, I know love. they was giving y'all hell. Back in the day, was my different. favorite person in the world, but I get my player from him definitely. You know, nowadays, definitely. yo, it's it's so crazy to be like in a relationship, bro. Like, you got social up, media, bro. you got fucking all this shit that's like. It's thrown at you, you know what I mean? Right. Like, and and the trust, like, is it's it's hard nowadays, you know what I right. mean? Bring, and like, I'm single, like I'm single, like I'm single in my life right now, and I'm happy, you know what I mean? Because I really like, I'm like, yo, do I want to fucking spend the rest of my life with you? Like, you know what I mean? Like, and maybe like I hang out in the wrong places and shit, but <laughs> you know what I mean? But like, I, I mean, there's good girls out there and shit, but yeah. like, you know, it's it's hard nowadays, and like. The cheating shit, like, I feel like it goes on. I feel like the divorce shit is, like, cool now. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, they, it's all, like, you know, all the celebrities, like, get married for two years and and and, and then they divorce. You know what right. I mean? It's like, that's what people think. And it's, it's, it's putting, putting it in everybody's mind. You know what I mean? Like, this is cool to do. You know what I mean? But... And a lot of the music is geared towards that, too. A lot of oh, our yeah. music... Whether it be male or female, they yo don't trust nobody. Be don't trust nobody because a lot of the artists be be nowadays it's hard because I don't I, I don't really trust a lot of people. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, for real. For and like like I'm cool like with all my like with with, with all my exes. Check you know the what I mean? Like, Check the cam. I'm cool with all my exes. You know what I mean? Because like I spend a lot of time with them and like you know we was just at a different time. You know what I mean? And right. In our, you know now now I'm 40 years old, about to be 41. Like. I want something different, but like, I see all these like girls out here now. And like, I'm like, I don't know if like I really want to fucking get into it, something yeah. serious that's worthwhile. You know what I mean? Because I don't know what fucking people be doing. It's fucking, yeah. it's a shady we world. We do know. They be outside. We are in a very, we are in a very like the era we. It's a weird very era geared towards the friends with benefits shit. More than it is like actually being with somebody. Well, true. You feel what that's, I'm saying? It's because much, it's it's much yeah. easier to maintain a relationship. Like yo, my like my cool with and you ain't got no pressure on, and y'all can still get it off every yeah. now and then. Than it is to you know what I'm saying? Like actually dedicate yourself. I to see somebody motherfuckers and get that played, are just in relationships you know I mean? and and have kids and shit just because they get older, and that's not like yeah. the, like the way it should be. Like Word. you know, my brother and my sister in law, like they best friends. You know what I mean? Like they like. They have something special. They have that old love. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, listen, I, I, I'll, I'll be the first to tell you, and I've, I've told this personally to many people, but I get outside of time while I got married. Yeah. And, and my answer to everybody is very, very simple. I don't think I'll ever find anybody. She's a white woman. Fucking stupid. (laughs) Nigga wanted good credit. I got you too. (laughs) Yeah, that's what I got you. He's Republican. (laughs) He married (laughs) up for good credit. (laughs) I got you. (laughs) No, No, but he got Italian bitch, so she she definitely good. (laughs) I I always say this all the time. I I say, yo, I I will never. I don't think I'll ever find anybody like her. Like I've met many women. No, it's special. When you find that that person that's special. You know what I mean? Like it's 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 a different yeah, feeling, and, and that and that's and that's what it was for me. And, and you know, I'm the last person to talk about relationships because I fucked up many good relationships. You know what I mean? But it, it was just a it was just a time in my life I was I just wasn't ready, yeah. and I was still like fucking idiot, like running around doing dumb shit. Yo, this this episode fucking went off the rails real yeah. quick. <laughs> yo, man, thank you. What was up, my man? Yo, what was up, my nigga man. Mike showing up, man? We appreciate oh, you, brother. Yo, man. Chef. Yo, Shout buddy. God kid. damn it, chef. There's nothing left. I, yo. You yeah. wanna yeah. who which one of you niggas wanna I'll do? I'll take this, you man. Don't got no mic. I'll take us out, yo. It's the no free game podcast. The least you could do is pay attention. Stupid. Stupid.